Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another video about the OnePlus 6 and this guy is continuing on my channel and on XDA developers just like the OnePlus 5T did and that is the reason I'm really, really excited. Now yesterday you saw a video on which I showed you how to install Android P and there was a first look at that particular ROM. Now today what we're going to do is as that ROM was not a daily driver material, we're going to see a very, very simple and short guide which will help you in one simple step to get back to stock Oxygen OS 5.1.3 and then you can continue your regular OTA updates. Now, usual stuff, you need to back up all your data, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and make sure you have more than 50% battery. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And if motorbikes are your thing and you like travel videos, here's a card to my second channel, Kratos 390, go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a very, very short follow up video for the OnePlus 6. Now, as you know, yesterday I made a video on which I showed you how to install Android P developer preview on the OnePlus 6. Now, of course, there has to be a way to go back to Android 8.1 Oreo and that Oxygen OS stable ROM which gives you all the goodies and all the features. Now a quick update here for you guys, Hydrogen OS has got an update of Oxygen OS 5.1.6 which adds a lot of optimizations at the same time it adds front portrait or front bokeh effect. So that update should be coming to the Oxygen OS variant soon as well. Now for now what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a procedure to get the phone back to complete stock and there are a few things that are required. So before you begin with this, first things first, you need to download the file which is mentioned in the description, copy it to your phone's internal memory and just like the previous video, you need to have it to the root directory of your phone. That means it should not be any, in any folder, it should be in your internal memory directly. Now, apart from that, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. So if you've not unlocked your bootloader, here's a card to that video. Go ahead and check that video out and unlock your bootloader. At the same time, you need to have at least 50% battery and make sure all your data is backed up because the data would be lost in this particular process. And even if it is not, well, it's always a good practice to go ahead and back up your data, right? Now, considering that all the prerequisites are taken care of and the file is in your phone, Here's what you need to do. Now, as you can see, this is Android developer preview, which is based on Android P or Android 9, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Now, next up, we need to go to system. Then we need to go to advanced and system update. And then this gear icon here, just tap on it. And then select local upgrade. Now, this is the file here. Ox one plus six oxygen 22 do 7 it would have mr1 at the end so let's tap that and let's select confirm now this update installation process will take at least five minutes so please be patient while the update is being installed but for us it happens in three two one go all right so as you can see the process is now complete and it is asking us to reboot now what we're doing here basically is we are following the instructions directly from oneplus and as this is a downgrade what my logic or experience says is that we might have to go ahead and wipe everything off but for now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a reboot here and see if everything goes as planned or not if it doesn't what we'll have to do is we will manually boot into recovery and wipe everything and then we should be back to android 8.1 oxygen os 5.1.3 so let's go ahead and hit that reboot switch here we go so let's see if the rom actually boots up properly or not it will be interesting to see that now as you can see as this is a rollback zip oneplus have made the zip in such a way that it will wipe everything so you don't need to manually go to the recovery and do it so that is a very very good thing it's a very very easy process to get back to stock channel or to the stable channel of updates and then this will be 5.1.3 so after this you can simply go back to using ot updates and you will be back to 5.1.5 now remember when you get a ota on a unlocked bootloader it will download the full rom and not just the ota which should be ideally 100 or 200 megabytes instead it will download the full rom 
which will be around 1.6 gigabyte so that are that is one of the demerits of having unlocked bootloader but that's okay and uh, there are a few custom roms that are coming up for the oneplus 6 so the next few days are going to be very very exciting we are going to flash treble based roms we are going to flash a custom rom which is based on oxygen os it's basically a de-bloated and highly customizable custom rom that is there so a lot of exciting things are coming up for this bad boy all right so oxygen os has booted up let's quickly skip through the setup here now that we are back to the stable rom as you can see it says there is an update available so we will do the installation later so let me just go to settings and then go to about so this is oxygen os 5.1.3 everything is working as expected everything is erased so there you have it guys that was the easiest way to get back to a stable rom after installing android p now one small announcement that i have here is there is a unbreak tool available for the oneplus 6 so just like you guys loved it on the oneplus 5t i'm going to make a step-by-step -step guide to easily unbreak your oneplus 6 in case anything goes wrong but for now this was the video guys if you liked it give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe and leave a comment below of how did you feel about the android p experience and getting back to stock and is there anything new that you would like to see on this particular channel for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials thank you for your time guys have a great evening and take care goodbye